Hey guys, what's up? It's time for some empties and I have a lot this month. Some of these are like repeat favorite items. I feel like I didn't finish up that many super unique things this month. I do these videos every month. I have a playlist. I'll link it down below in case you haven't seen me do these in the past. I just use up stuff all beauty related and sometimes I throw in some food empties which I will at the end of this video um, and I just tell you guys what I thought about it. So yeah, let's get into the makeup first. This is my favorite one because it is so undetectable on the skin and I am not a big powder girl because my skin is very dry so when it comes to powder I have to be really careful not to use too much not to use something that looks too thick or cakey I bought this I think last year I'm not sure exactly what time but I ended up using all of it I took the sifter out so I could really get in there because sometimes the powder kind of settles in on the sides so if you have this make sure you remove that sifter to get every last bit out um, and I, I love this especially for my under eye area I did a get ready with me on this look actually this morning just repurchased it during the VIB sale and I'm waiting for it to arrive I just finished this up today when I was filming this get ready with me I could talk about how much I love this all day it is just my absolute holy grail favorite favorite powder I did use up another holy grail product this is the makeup forever HD foundation in 110 this is their old formula and uh, I've pretty much scraped out all the sides and everything this is this used to be my holy grail foundation and now they have revamped it to the Ultra HD, which I love, by the way. I, I love that stuff. I'm crazy about the new one. But this is the old one, and I still have one bottle left that I'm actually using up. And I'm actually wearing this foundation today. So this is what 110 looks like on my face. This is it. I love this stuff. I raved about it pretty much ever since I got into it, which was right about when I started my YouTube channel. That's when I started wearing this, and I love this stuff. It's awesome. Um, I feel like this has more coverage to it than the newer one which is a good thing but I also feel like the new one looks a bit more natural on the skin so I kind of I kind of like the new one better just because of that reason I have a drugstore item here this is the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and this is like the um, primer that a lot of people were comparing to Smashbox uh, what is it photo finish and uh, I did enjoy this but I don't think I would buy it again because I do have dry skin and I don't really have an issue with pores if you have pores that you want to kind of like fill and create a smooth canvas this would be a great option but for me I'm more concerned with moisture so this doesn't really give much moisture um, I just bought this when it was new and I was like you know kind of giving into the hype of it but it wasn't bad I just wouldn't buy it again because it's not what my skin exactly needs so have another holy grail item for me this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Neutral this is the lightest one that they make and I I took the stopper out actually it's a really good trick to use in order to kind of like scoop out the sides and everything so just take a pair of tweezers or pliers whatever you have and just take the little stopper out I love this is because it doesn't look like you have a ton of concealer on I'm wearing the NARS radiant creamy today but I have to really take my time to blend it into my skin because that has such a thick and kind of dry texture almost whereas this naked skin has a almost like I mean weightless feel to it and it's very I would say it's kind of like a wetter concealer I know that sounds weird but to me the NARS has like some sort of dry formula that just doesn't want to like blend onto my dry skin you know what I mean so this for me is just a dream it blends so well the shade is awesome I really love the shade on this too it works so well for me that is actually it for the makeup that I finished I know I didn't really go through much except for face products that's usually how it goes for me but I do have a lot of skincare so I want to start off with a few little samples I have here I mentioned this in my last empties video I had another sample I used up and this is the Bosha detoxifying black cleanser. I really like this in the mornings because it's so cold lately. It's been freezing cold in the morning, which I am so happy about. Like this weather change, I am just, I am loving it. It's a weird smell. It smells like pepper and I don't know, I'm not into that smell. So I don't put this near my eyes because I'm afraid it would like burn my eyes. I don't even think you're supposed to use it near your eyes. But anyway, so I did enjoy this, but I don't think I would purchase the full size because I'm not really into high-end face wash. I have such a great drugstore one that I love. And I guess I'll just mention that now. It's the Eucerin Sensitive Skin Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. This is what it looks like. It comes with this huge pump and this bottle lasts me a long time. I just ended up finishing it this month. I really love this for removing my makeup and then I also take a pump after my makeup's off and I just make sure I get my skin and it's so nice. There's no fragrance in it. It's a very plain face wash so I know a lot of people might think it's kind of boring but I like to keep it as simple as possible when it comes to my 
face when it comes to face wash because I don't like scented face washes and when they get my eyes it burns so I like to get stuff like this and the Eucerin one has just been working so well for me I really really enjoy it and it's very inexpensive so I have repurchased this a billion times it's definitely holy grail I have another little sample this is another this is like a makeup removing product it's called their real remover and it's from benefit this is supposed to remove the their real mascara I believe but I just used it for whatever mascara I had on and it does work but I would never pay extra money for it it is like a cream product it's not like a liquid eye makeup remover kind of like the dual action type eye makeup removers it's a little bit different and I think it does a good job but once again do I think it's any better than my up and up probably not I don't think I'd pay the high money for it just because I love my up and up eye makeup remover works perfectly fine for me it's the target up and up compared to the Neutrogena eye makeup remover and you can get this at Target in double packs in huge sizes now and this is just the regular size I think it's around like 460 now so I like to get it in the double packs and I I just love this stuff it's really good I have a couple more face products here this month was like the face product month for me I guess this is from the body shop I got this at Marshall on like clearance. I remember hauling this sometime earlier this year, maybe like May. I don't remember exactly, but I did buy this at Marshall's. It was around $5 and I haven't tried much from their vitamin E line. All of the body shops here like near LA have closed down. So I, I only get body shop products in Marshall's now. So that's why whenever I see body shop, I'm like, oh my gosh, and I get so excited. And this was one of those items. And sadly, I didn't really enjoy it all that much. This is a cream exfoliator. It says, mild and gentle soap free skin smoothing with vitamin E protection all skin types um, but the thing is it had a really really strong scent kind of like um, baby powder like I, I wasn't a big fan of that scent and I didn't know it smelled like that because at the store you know it's sealed and everything but I did finish it up it just wasn't my favorite I wouldn't buy it again and this was also kind of a fail but I can't complain because I got it for free in my influencer box which is a program where you can you sign up for it and they send you free products in a little box and it's pretty cool check it out if you guys aren't familiar with it so yeah I got this from them and this is the Olay active botanicals refreshing gel cleanser this was a gel and it was like really it left behind a really weird thick residue it took forever to wash it off when you um, put the water and start like actually cleansing your face with it it kind of foams up and it turns into a foaming kind of cleanser um, I thought that was pretty cool but the thing about it is that it left behind like a really oily residue and I was not a fan of that it took a long time for me to actually I felt like I had to clean my face again like after using this it wasn't very good so I would not recommend this and I I didn't buy it but I would never ever purchase it and I would totally never recommend it. I have another tiny sample here. This is actually from my dermatologist. She gave me a few of these tubes to try out. She told me um, try them out see if I like them. This is for your hands. It's a hand cream. The brand is by Galderma and this is their daily protection hand cream. It says it forms a barrier to hydrate and protect your skin. I really like this because it, the daytime one doesn't leave your hands feeling greasy or oily. I know a lot of hand creams um, are end up sometimes they end up being too rich for like just daily activities you know what I mean like you can't open the door after you put them on and with this I don't have that problem so I really enjoy it and um, I do have eczema and sometimes my fingertips peel you might have noticed it in my videos um, lately my hands have been doing pretty well but with this cold weather change and the wind and everything I have been getting a few dry patches like on my knuckles and stuff sometimes I feel like it's inevitable like no matter how much I put my hand cream on um, it's sometimes I just get little dry patches on the backs of my hands especially but lately I've been doing pretty good and I really like this stuff I totally feel like this has helped me so I just wanted to talk about it for anybody who has dry skin on their hands or if you have eczema like I do try this stuff out ask your dermatologist it's pretty good simple cleansing micellar water I like to use this after I have cleansed my face and I just make sure I remove all the last traces of makeup I really enjoy this one it's super affordable I think it's around like six to seven dollars at Target I just like it and simple does a lot of coupons in the paper too so I like this stuff it doesn't dry out my skin and then I also had this one from boots I tried 
out a few of the Boots Sensitive Skin products, but none of them really stood out to me, and this one was probably the best out of the, like, four or five that I tried. This was probably my favorite thing. It's their Expert Sensitive Gentle Refreshing Toner. This has no fragrance. It's like a very plain and simple toner. It's for people who have sensitive skin, and I enjoyed it, but I don't think I would buy it again. I have my two makeup wipes that I always talk about, so I'll just go through them here quickly. This is the Equate Makeup Remover compared to the Neutrogena one. I use these for swatches in my videos and all of the get ready with me's and stuff. I use this one to clean up all my makeup messes pretty much. And then I use my good stuff for my face. This is the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I love these so much. I buy them in bulk at Sam's. You can get them at Costco too in bulk. They sell five, like a huge box, five pack of these. And then I have two body washes. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn Summer Fruits body wash. I got this at Marshall's and I really like the scent. I was kind of sad that I finished it up, but it smells so nice. It kind of smells like um, cucumber and um, I don't know, like mangoes. It's really good. I know that's a weird combo, but it really does smell like cucumber mixed with like tropical fruits. It's so yummy. I really love this one. And then I finished a small Bath and Body Works body gel. I never really tried these shower gels before. Wow. They're so well and it smells amazing. This scent is Sonoma Weekend Escape. It smelled like peaches and I loved it. It was fantastic. I would definitely try more of their shower gels again. I know I've tried one maybe when I was like a kid but I hadn't tried one like recently and I was just so amazed at the formula. It was so good and I, I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I've been. For hair products, I have all my usual, so I'll just kind of breeze through them right now. I have the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist. This is a deep conditioning treatment. I really love this stuff, and I've been using it for years on my hair. It just makes your hair look shiny, and it feels really soft after you use it. I really enjoy this stuff, and you can get it at the drugstore. It's very inexpensive. I think it's like $3.50 at Target. And then I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the cherry one. It's fruity and cheeky cherry. That's the scent. And this one is just white. They do have like tinted ones. I just really enjoy this formula. It smells fantastic. It really does smell like cherries and I love the way this adds volume to my hair but I also use this to um, in between washes because I don't like to shampoo my hair very often. It's my favorite hair dye that I use. I did talk about this in last month's empties but I'm just mentioning it again because I ask, I get asked every single day almost what hair dye do you use and it's this one. It's Color Brilliance Brights by Ion. It's their brights. They do have a brilliance line but this is the from the brights line and this is their semi-permanent hair color in red the shade is just called red and I use two of these they come in like a large tube and I dye my hair usually every month but lately I've been so busy I've been doing it every two months and I feel like it just really holds up very well and this is almost been two months now and it's still pretty bright so I, I just love this it's only six bucks for a tube at Sally Beauty and I cannot recommend it enough it smells great too it's weird I've never had a hair dye that smelled as good as this kind of random here but I have some wax melts I didn't finish any candles this month because I've been all about these wax melts like these are so awesome this is from Walmart it's the sensationals coffee cake swirl you guys this smells so so good it really does smell like coffee cake it's super sweet but it has like a super strong coffee smell mixed in. I also have a Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap. This is Sunlight and Apple Trees. It's a really pretty apple scent. It's so light. It's very fresh and just apple-y and amazing deliciousness. I've had this for a long time. I just finished it up this month. This is the Ology brand Peppermint Pure Castel Soap and this is the same as my Dr. Bronner's but it's just the Ology brand from Walgreens and this is like their version of it. I only bought this because it was on sale for 10 bucks and I got this huge bottle and I used it to clean all my brushes. It works really well but I'm not sure what it is full price. I think it was pretty expensive full price. I got these in my last empties but I had to show you guys. I got another box. I love these waffles you guys. These waffles are so good. I can't stop talking about them. I love them so much. I just had to mention them again because they, they taste like nutmeg and cinnamon and everything you want in life. Like that's what this tastes like. It's really good. I have more pumpkin stuff that I got in October because you know like everything is pumpkin and a lot of you said you wanted me to like save
food empty so I tried and this was actually really good it was a pumpkin bread mix this is from Pillsbury it's their quick bread you can either use it like for bread or you could put muffin put it in like a muffin tin and do muffins with it this was really good I got myself some pumpkin bagels these were from Trader Joe's and I think I bought um, since then I bought the Thomas English muffins this was not really pumpkiny it was kind of just like cinnamon and they put pumpkin spice on the label so Trader Joe's kind of cheated me out of that right. one and another thing I got at Trader Joe's don't freak out but these were really good pumpkin tortilla chips the weird thing is that these actually had a cinnamon in them so it was kind of like pumpkin spice it they just said pumpkin on the front but I actually like when you eat them you can kind of taste a little bit of cinnamon and it's it kind of reminded me of um, like you know when you get a churro or you get like you know when you have like the bread and you put cinnamon on it It tastes like that. All right guys, so that's it for my November empties I would love to hear what you guys finished up. So let me know in the comments I can't wait to hear from you all and as always. Thank you so much for watching